Hi, builders. In the world of app development, efficiency and automation are key. That's where BuildShip's ROWE trigger comes in. It's a powerful, low-code way to easily manipulate your Firebase Firestore data, and it will change the way you build. Perhaps you're already using ROWE and love the way it lets you visualize your Firestore data in a familiar spreadsheet format but want an easier way to automate and manipulate the data coming into or out of your database, then you're in the right place. Introducing ROWE Trigger, BuildShip's innovative solution that automates your workflow directly within your Firestore database. With ROWE Trigger, when a new Firestore document is created or data is changed or deleted, you can trigger a BuildShip workflow that responds to these changes. For instance, when a new entry is added to your database, ROWE Trigger can automatically format data, integrate with third-party platforms, send emails, or even integrate with other APIs, all in real time, efficiently, and securely. So let's set up our first ROWE Trigger. Here we've got a template that we've taken straight from the templates that BuildShip supply. It's the Google Vision template that'll allow us to feed in an image and get a sense of what the objects are within that image. We've also got our ROWE project, and I've set this up quite simply. It takes in an image and returns the objects that are within it. So from this template, all we need to do is remove that REST API call and replace it with a ROWE trigger. Now the project ID that it wants us to provide, you just click on your image up in the right-hand corner of ROWE, copy and paste it in. Click on the copy button, and this is our config for ROWE. You copy that, and return back to ROWE, and we'll add an extension in. Click Add Extension. Choose to trigger our workflow based on whether a document's created, updated, or deleted. In this instance, we want to update it when it's created. And the field we want when it's changed to be image. And all we do is copy in that code straight from BuildShip. Save and deploy, and we're good to go. Back in BuildShip, once it's deployed in ROWE, we simply remove that return trigger and replace it with a Firestore node. Now we're wanting to update the Firestore field value here. Our project ID comes from what we've already put at the top trigger node. Our document path comes straight from the ROWE trigger itself. And you'll see, you just hit variables under body, ref, and there's our path. The field key is the field that we want to update in the Firestore document itself. Now that was called content. And the value we're returning is the value from our image object detection node. Hit ship. And then back in ROWE, let's add in a new row with an image. Here I've got this image of a couch. And once that's uploaded, and here we have returned our object straight from build ship. Here we see it's a couch of 94% accuracy, and here are the dimensions in the image. So why wait? Streamline your workflow, enhance efficiency, and focus on what really matters, building amazing apps. Check out ROWE Trigger by BuildShip today. Transform your development process and take your project to the next level. With ROWE Trigger, the future of app development in your hands. Happy building.